But it's a tremendous occasion. It, uh, it's got to be the, the best day, I think, uh, that Jones has had for a long, long time. Up the mariners, up the mariners, we're gonna win the cup one day. Up the mariners, up the mariners, it's Grimsby Town that rules okay. The problem with the best town side they've had for years. It's teamwork that counts, not big fees. <laughs> and the manager, of course, isn't it? Are there any particular players you'd pick out? Broly. Why him in particular? I think he's very skillful. How do you think we'll get on in the second division? I think that it's going to take a bit for him to settle down and get used to a different class of football. He'll be going to the game against Sheffield United, will he? Yeah, of course. And what's the score going to be? 2 0. Which players have uh, impressed you this year? Well, Nigel Batch starts. Then uh, Kevin Kilmore. I was surprised that he did so well. I think it's George Kerr, really. He's done it all. And the players are all good players. Have you any special players? Bob Cumming, because he's the top scorer and I think he's nice looking. <laughs> Who's your favourite player? Uh, Kev Drinkle. <laughs> Why in particular Kevin? He's got nice legs. <laughs> What's the score going to be against Sheffield United? 3 0. Seem very confident. Positive. Why? Why is he confident? Well, I wish we had a team in there, uh, Sheffield. He's a bit the Yorkers. One thing that actually stands out in my mind was the night we played Notts County. Uh, we had a minute's silence for the ex chairman, Mr. Hamilton. And I've never ever been in a football crowd that's moved me so much as, as, as that one that night. The respect they showed to the man, you know, it, uh, it really moved me that night. There's one thing that these players can look back with pride on in this season, and that nobody has uh, helped them one little bit. Not Lady Luck, nobody. They have helped themselves. And uh, I've told them that they'll never forget this year because it's, uh, you know, it's a sad fact that uh, we have good times and bad times in footballs. And, but when you've had good times, nobody can ever take that away from you. And they'll remember this year with, uh, as a season of pride. Uh, as far as their own uh, performances have, have, have gone. How are things affecting you at the moment? I'd imagine you're pretty busy, aren't you? Uh, very busy, but uh, it's, the, it's the last days, if you like now, of uh, a very hectic um, year. Uh, but you would rather be doing that than uh, walking about with your head down and feeling, feeling sorry for yourself. And, uh, you know, we can't all be winners, you know, and it's nice when you are. And it's nice to see, I think... I think it's nice to see people who have really put their heart and soul into the jobs being rewarded for it. Now this afternoon, the last match of the season against Sheffield United. Well, you know, the, the message uh, has got to be arrive early because there'll be, there'll be a tremendous crowd. It's a tremendous occasion. I mean, if you go back and think that two years ago we were in the fourth division and now we're on, we're on our way into the second and possibly as champions... I mean, you couldn't ask for a better drama than, than will unfold uh, later on this afternoon. It, uh, it's got to be the, the best day, I think, uh, that Grimms has had for a long, long time. And there's going to be a celebration tomorrow, whatever happens? Well, there'll be a celebration tomorrow and there'll also be a celebration this afternoon, uh, whatever happens, because uh, we haven't celebrated the fact that we've uh, been promoted yet. And no matter what happens, whether we go up as champions or not, we go up and... Uh, my orders will be that we celebrate no matter what. <laughs> Actually, Grimsby Town lose and Blackburn win. Blackburn are the champions. If Grimsby Town draw, uh, Blackburn have to get uh, four goals, clear, four clear goals against Barry, and then the teams will be level on points and goal difference. And that will mean a playoff on a neutral ground. So having got that right, I might tell you it's been driving me crackers all the morning. Uh, we'll go from there. Well, uh, the Mariners need two points to make certain of the Division th Three Championship, which they haven't had since 1956. Uh, whatever the outcome of the match against Sheffield United this afternoon, the Grimsby fans will have promotion to celebrate, and the police tell me they're going to allow them onto the pitch at the end of a game which we hope will see them go up into the Third Division in style. Uh, Sheffield United, who are down to the ninth position, uh, are certainly a side that have come here to do the damnedest. They've got a tremendous following, I think, of about 2,000 very noisy fans who are behind uh, bars. 
in the Cleethorpe Sand. And uh, I shouldn't think there's anywhere near 24,000 people here. Uh, but I would uh, hazard a guess at the moment there's about 18, but there's still a long way to go. Well, Sheffield United uh, was side built for Division 1, and they're 46 points, uh, but they're a very useful side. And uh, I don't suppose anybody, not even the manager, Harry Aslam, uh, can explain what happened to them because they led the third division up to Christmas. Uh, ground conditions are very difficult indeed. There's a, a very, very high wind going across the pitch and uh, there's a very, very light ground, so uh, anything can happen this afternoon. The Mariners, of course, have played 60 league and cup games and whatever they do this afternoon, they'll have earned the cheers of everybody here. Well, I'll give you the teams as they line up Grimsby batching goal back for Dave Moore, Wigginton, uh, Dean Crombie and Kevin Moore. In midfield, Mick Brolly, Joe Waters, Bob Mitchell, Bob Cumming. Up front, Tony Ford and Kevin Drinkle. And the sub is John Stone. Uh, Sheffield United have Derek Robinson in goal. The back four, Cutbush, Moore, Canworthy and Tibbet. Midfield, Landy Goy, the Dutch artist, John Matthews, Mickey Spate, uh, Alex Sabella up front there with Dougie Brown and Trenton Wigan, a coloured boy making his debut for Sheffield this afternoon. So with the st a stage now set for a, a really nail-biting game, Ekberg has his happy pills in his pocket. Uh, no score here, Peter, Grimsby Town nil, Sheffield United nil. In fact, Joe Waters got right through in the first minute and only a really brilliant save from Derek Richardson who came tearing off his line, saved the situation. Grimsby nil, Sheffield United nil, Peter, and back to you in the big city. It's a goal there, Grimsby have scored. A goal for Grimsby Town, a corner by Mike Crowley. And Grimsby Town go one up, rushing in there. A really great goal by Kevin Drinkle. Absolutely smashing to the back of the net. A score here, Grimsby Town 1, Sheffield United 0. A perfect goal scored in the 18th minute. An in-swinging corner from uh, Mike Brolly on the left. Absolutely hammered into the net, headwise, uh, by Kevin Drinkle. The Mariners had another one disallowed a moment later. And there's Joe Waters going in. And it's a goal! It's a second goal for Grimsby! Joe Waters has scored Grimsby's second goal! A brilliant goal! Back to you, Peter! Waters. Waters, a long ball to Moore. To Bobby Cumming. Bobby Cumming there on the left. He's taken on his man. He's beaten his man. But he's beaten by Cutbush. And the ball goes out for a throw in. Uh, John Cutbush there had the better of that argument. Ford on the edge of the box, crowded out. Mitchell, a nice ball through, and it's Reese. It's a shot into the net, and it's Grimsby's third goal. Grimsby's third goal, and this time the scorer is Kevin Drinkle again. Kevin Drinkle puts Grimsby three up, and there go the fans and the ticker tape. Uh, Grimsby Town 3, Sheffield United 0. Uh, that's the scoreline in this vital game, which surely now must give Grimsby Town the championship of Division 3. And it could well have been 4 or 5, because the Mariners have turned on that brand of soccer, uh, which has been missing from Blundell Park for a few weeks, doubtless because of nerves, overwork. These boys are playing the 60th game today. But let's have a look at those goals. The first one came in the 18 minutes. A left wing in swinging corner from Mick Brolly was literally bulleted into the net by Kevin Drinkle, who'd taken up position by the far post. A really great piece of set piece football. And the ground erupted again two minutes later when Bobby Cumming had the ball into the Sheffield net. Uh, but this time the referee, Mr. Terry Farley, had spotted a foul on the goalkeeper, I think, so United uh, got a free kick. Uh, but Grimsby were not to be denied, and in the 38th minute came uh, one of the goals of the season, and there have been many of them at Blundell Park. 
Joe Waters picked up the ball on the right. He beat three men. And as the goalkeeper began to come off his line, he lobbed the ball into the corner of the net to make it Grimsby 2, Sheffield United 0. Well, there were more for the fans. And five minutes before half-time, another uh, great goal for the Mariners uh, from Kevin Drinkle. The ball uh, came over to him. United failed to clear it. And he hit it into the net like a rocket. Grimsby 3, Sheffield United 0. And surely the Mariners must be home and dry. Taken by Kevin Moore on the halfway line. Up into the Sheffield box. There's a lot of pushing going on there. And that's another goal for Grimsby Town. Grimsby have scored another goal. A lot of pushing going on in the Sheffield United box. And Grimsby get the goal. And that is a hat trick for Kevin Drinkle. A hat trick for Kevin Drinkle. A most untidy goal. There was some pushing and shoving. And the ball ran loose. And Kevin Drinkle just had to push the ball into the net. And what a day this is for Grimsby fans. Listen to those fans. And there's Mick Brolly going away there with Kenworthy after him. And uh, Brolly wins the throw in. Grimsby 4, Sheffield United 0. We join Charles Eckberg. Well, the score here, Grimsby Town 4, Sheffield United 0. And as you come over, that is Joe Waters going through into the box. He's on his own. He's beaten his man across to Mike Brolly. Is it another one? No, it's out for a throw at a corner. So Grimsby 4, Sheffield United 0. Sorry now to hear from Charles Eckberg. I score Grimsby Town 4, Sheffield United 0. It could well have been 6-0 by now because Grimsby have missed one or two chances. I think they're probably entitled to, but this huge crowd of 20-odd thousand people, you're going to hear them in the background celebrating uh, the championship of Division 3. Grimsby Town 4, Sheffield United 0. The cheers in the background will tell those of you who are listening that Grimsby Town are champions of Division 3 and worthy champions at that. A 20,000 crowd uh, were allowed onto the pitch at the moment the final whistle went and they are saluting their heroes in front of the stand here and the Grimsby Town team are in the director's box and the clouds and clouds of champagne bubbles bursting from that box. There are hats going into the air that's Nigel Batch taking a bow there and the team are taking off their black and white shirts and throwing them into the crowd and there's Bobby Cumming one of the most popular men in the black and white stripes and he's taking a bow Grimsby's top scorer this season with no less than 18 goals uh, to his credit and these fans will just not go away and they're demanding more appearances from the side, from this victorious Grimsby side, who have beaten Sheffield United by four goals to nil, uh, uh, bearing in mind that this was their 60th game of the season. 60 games. What a test of stamina. What a test of spirit. What a test for George Kerr's men. And how well... They've come through it. And there's this great army of Grimsby Town fans. There must be 10,000 of them on the pitch there. And they're going to the Sheffield United corner to salute the sporting Sheffield United fans. Grimsby Town, champions of Division 3. And into the second division for the first time since 1962 and so with the Grimsby fans 5,000 of them still celebrating on the pitch and they look as though they'll never go home Hi, Grimsby you? Town Football Club the brand new champions of League Division 3 a proud moment for George Kerr who's now waiting at Lundell Park very well done George thank you David we've won this game today against um, 
what on paper is a very, very good side in championship form. It could have been, uh, without a word of an exaggeration, 8-0. Mm. It's been so one-sided, but uh, our, lands have, our lads have handled themselves with... Uh, Tremendous credit all season, and, and really, the, the people, there's been 19,200 here today, and everybody's gone home, and uh, they're thoroughly delighted. The, the people of Grimsby are very proud people tonight. The thing that's impressed me is the form of Kevin Drinkle, because every time I watch this young man, he seems to mature in every game. Oh, his, his, his first two goals today uh, were absolutely superb goals, and struck home with the um, enormous strength that he does possess. But allied to that now, he's got a little bit of... He's added a little bit of uh, class and awareness to his play, which makes him a, a tremendous prospect for the future, I feel. Uh, how much have your players learned from this championship win? I think we've. I think the, the players at the club have, as I said before, have handled themselves very well, and that includes the learning process. Uh, they've learned a, a heck of a lot, and uh, but still the, they're the same people that I knew when I first came to the club. And for me, that's one of the most important aspects of it all. And what about next season, then? Well, next season's uh, three months away, and we shall prepare for that one as we've, we've prepared for this one, and give it all we've got. We can't do any more, and we'll see how things turn out. If it turns out like this one, it'll not be too bad, I don't think. And what about tomorrow, George? Of course, you've got the civic reception, um, preceded by the uh, procession, of course, through the streets. Are you looking forward to that one? Well, I think, I think these are the things that uh, you... you you know, you memorise for, for a lifetime, don't you? And obviously I, I'm quite sure the people of Grimsby will respond to what the um, the team's done and act accordingly. But the only thing mm. that concerned me was the fact that we finished off our season well um, to please, really, the people that, that we work for, and that is namely the, the people of Grimsby and Cleethorpes. And good afternoon and welcome from the balcony of Grimsby Town Hall. And you've joined us just as a brave, brave band of young lasses and, lasses and lads. The Mariners Marching Show Band is performing in front of the Town Hall in their blue and white. Perhaps it should be black and white, but it's blue and white. And they're playing their instruments and marching around and giving some entertainment to the crowd. In fact, it's, it's grey and it's dull and it's miserable and I think it's colder up here on the balcony than it probably is down there. But everyone's happy and they're not worrying about the cold. As far as fans are concerned, the numbers have been growing steadily over the last few minutes. And there are now several hundred massed in front of the town hall. Some young people sitting on the windows of Grimsby Municipal Offices, which is quite a convenient place to get a bit of height. Policemen, well becoated and begloved against the chilly weather, standing around in small knots, keeping a very low profile and just making sure that the road in front of the town hall is perfectly clear. Can you hear that noise now? We're just turning back up onto the seafront again and the traffic is pulled up there. They're hooting, they're cheering and waving. People even stood on their own roofs up here, on the balcony of their roofs. Cyclists still following us, kisses being blown from the Brunswick Hotel, uh, from one of the windows there. What a, what a really magnificent turnout for Grimsby on this very cold day when nobody really expected it. Motorists waving, motorists shouting, pulling up, cameras coming popping out of the windows there. The thumbs up sign from an elderly couple in one of the windows just up in the hotel uh, district of Cleethorpes here. We're just coming up to the Toby and they're all standing on the very high balconies on the fire escape lining the streets, waving their sticks and flags. And we're now on top of the open top bus, and standing with me is George Kerr, the manager. George, what a reception. Well, you know, it's, it's what you would expect from the people of Grimsby and Claythops. Um, they've, they've been right behind the town side all season, and uh, what a tremendous season we've had. And, uh, you know, they're showing their appreciation now, and, and uh, the players will know really exactly what they've been playing for by this. Uh, we're just trying... You can hear the noise there in the background. The players having a fantastic time up on top of it. And here we are back on the town pool balcony at the moment that the bus actually arrives with a police car leading it in front. And there's a tremendous eruption. I'm sure you can hear the crowd. It's a real football crowd now. The bands are playing. People are throwing confetti. And my goodness... Since the Queen came, there's nothing like it. And all the players up on the top of the open deck bus 
have got these black and white checkered flags, one of them holding a scarf up. And there's confetti all over the place. And here we are, and it's tremendous. The crowds since I last saw you have surged in. Young boys up trees, one chap, I don't know how he got up there, but he was up on a lamppost. And here we are, only about 10 or 20 feet above the crowd itself now. My word, they look like heroes. The crowds coming in, not really pushing, but there's a question now of making sure that they don't engulf the bus. And below, right behind it, I can see the Radio Humberside car. And there's nothing to say except that here is a football team receiving the welcome, the worship almost, of their fans. Mighty Mariners, Kerr's Killers, says one of the flags. Can I just say how much we all appreciate you're turning out on such a cold day. I've never seen as many dogs with black and white scarves on as I've seen this afternoon. Every one of these players has given their lot for the people of Grimsby and Claythorps. We know you appreciate it, and you show that by turning out for us today. We're absolutely delighted, all of us, that we've brought as much pride back into the town as we can. And let's we'll hope that uh, the next step has got to be the first division. I just, I just like to endorse. <laughs> I just like to endorse everything that George has said. And we look forward to next season. We, you never know, dear. We we'll do what we can. I think uh, Joe would like to say a few words. Joe. Man, I love it. He seems to be acting like a real entertainer. He doesn't seem to mind the crowds. He's enjoying every moment of it. Um, I'd just like to uh, thank you all on behalf of the players for coming to see us again this year. Oh, no, I don't sing. <laughs> I don't play football either, but I don't sing. <laughs> oh, I'd just like to thank you all for turning out again this year. I told you last year we'd be here again. And... Uh, <laughs> Next season. Next season, I hope we'll be here again. Oh, thank you. We love you. Popular man indeed there, Joe Waters. Microphone handed on. But I think there's always a after you, Claude, no after you, Cyril, kind of atmosphere at this time. Perhaps none of the other players particularly wishes to speak, but they're certainly enjoying waving and having a look at the depth and the sincerity of the enthusiasm they have. And now I think they've done very wisely on this windy day, they're disappearing back into the assembly room to enjoy a celebration cocktail party and a final cheer. They won't be seen for an hour and a half or so now, they're going to their cocktail party. And they're all in now. So there we are, inside. It's like the smaller gathering, a crowd of councillors and Grimsby Town officials and staff. But the crowd shouting on. And I've no doubt they'll be shouting on for a few more minutes before they disperse slowly. Indeed, some are dispersing already. But what a day for Humberside. Many congratulations on the championship win, Nigel. Thank you very much. But you've had some outstanding games as well, haven't you? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. The last, the last two or three months, I've been 
doing a crossword on the pitch. Can I, can I tell listeners at home, everybody's doing an impersonation of Nigel Batch letting the ball go through his legs, and Alec King is the troublemaker. No, Alec, sir, not guilty, sir. I wasn't there, sir. Alec, there, sir. <laughs> Alec, Alec uh, you've had the hardest, well, a job on paper. And excuse Robbie. the pun. You, you While these have been enjoying themselves, David, I've been working. Yes, oh. yes. And George Kerr saying what a load of rubbish, but Alec can back me up on that, can't you? Yes, you, yes definitely, That's David. Perfect. Yes, it's been a very busy season for everyone. For everyone, including physiotherapist John Fraser. The lads have done very well. They've been playing with injuries that probably any normal time they wouldn't have played, you know. But the spirit has been so great that the lads have carried on. Bobby Cumming, why do you think you've scored so many goals this season and not on previous occasions? Luke? Uh, because I've had to. Well, I've missed so many the season before. So this season I thought I had to get them. I've been in the right positions for them. Took my chances, had a shot, scored. Do you think you're a better player this season? Yeah, I think so. They'll not agree with me. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. oh, and let's go over to central defender Clive Wigginton. Has it been harder this season than when you won promotion in the fourth division? Yes and no. Um, I think it's been nice to play against a lot better sides. But as the season's gone on, we've tightened up at the back and we've, I don't think we've conceded a goal now since we played Hull City at home on Easter Monday. And um, as a defensive performance, it's got easier and easier for us because we've got more and more together. Nigel's played some really outstanding games and we've got very tight at the back and it's got really good. Another person that crops up everywhere is club captain and midfield dynamo Joe Waters. Welcome to the programme, Joe. Thanks very much, sir. Looking relaxed this afternoon, rather smart in your suits. Oh, thanks very much. Very decent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been I'm in every prison, what, in the last three seasons, did not you? Uh, four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, four and a half seasons. How do, you, how do you manage to stay clear of injury? I don't tackle <laughs> people. <laughs> <laughs> or is it that uh, you're very like, clever like that? Good a player that you avoid the crunching. Oh, no, I think it's the first one. <laughs> I don't tackle people. Mr Chairman, Mr Kerr, players, ladies and gentlemen, a good Grimsby Town football team is good for the town and nothing's been proved more than this season that the morale of the town, as you go around with people, you see they're just that much lighter in their step and seem happier because the Grimsby Town's doing well. It would be too much to hope that you changed your name, and I wouldn't wish it, to Great Grimsby Town. But whatever you have done for the town, you've certainly helped to make it great. The job of the mayor, as I see it, is to sell Grimsby. I've been outsold this year, very pleasingly, by the Grimsby Town football team. And I think we are all are very happy that this has been so. I hope that my successor, Councillor Smith, when he's mayor, will have the opportunity of standing here and congratulating the team going into the first division next season. Mr Mayor, Lady Mayoress, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a wonderful year for us as uh, representatives in the sporting field um, to represent the town and all the players are absolutely delighted uh, from the people of Grimsby's point of view and Cleethorpe's, that uh, we've achieved the ultimate goal. From a personal point of view, um, I'm absolutely delighted uh, for the players because I know how hard they've worked uh, on behalf of the community. They've put themselves around the town, often at uh, great personal cost to them because time is important and they've given up their own personal time, which I have no right to ask them to do, but it's been done without any trouble at all. They've, they've looked on it as part of the job, and I feel that uh, they are the best representatives of your town that you've ever had. And I'm very, very proud of them all. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you.